Now there's Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Um, when I was shuffling the spread for you, what I saw was, um, I see this bridge and it's like, um, there's a curve to it and you're standing on, I don't know how to best portray this. So there's a bridge, you're standing on one side, you're waiting and it feels like, you know, it's, um, it looks like a Parisian, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like maybe Paris, maybe like some, some big European countries and um, you're wearing a scarf, you're wearing, it's cold, so you're wearing a scarf, you're wearing a big coat and you're waiting for somebody and you look and the streets are deserted and you look around and you look around and they're not there, they're not coming. I don't feel like you're getting stood up. I don't feel that. I feel like you're waiting for somebody and then you have no choice. But now you're going to cross the bridge to get over to the other side. So I feel like this imagery is about moving on with your life. Okay? We don't have any more excuses. The streets are empty. There's nothing here for us anymore. We have to let go and we have to move on. And Normally, Sagittarius people are always down to have an adventure, to see what's around the next corner, to explore new territories and to explore new lands. But something has been keeping you very stuck. And I feel for many of you, this is an emotional attachment. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have any rhyme or reason to it because it's, you know, emotions are very subjective. They're not supposed to make sense. But you have an emotional attachment to a person, a place, or a thing that's really kept you back and it's preventing you from from living out to to kind of like um it's somehow suppressed that sense of adventure within you. I hope that makes sense. You are always down to explore new things, to experience new things, and yet you're standing in front in front of this bridge. And, you know, the other side seems a lot more prosperous. There are carolers, there are people on the other side, there are lights. And I feel like you're not taking that, you're, you're still waiting around, like, is this situation going to get better? Are things going to change? If things change, I might stay where I'm at, rather than crossing over the bridge and explore what's on the other side, okay? Um, so, along the same lines, this the spread that is laid out here is largely about that. It's about you embarking on a new phase in your life, accepting the new opportunities that are coming in and no longer holding yourself back with what ifs, with what should have been, with excuses that we kind of tell ourselves to not do something. Um, I feel like you have been dealing with a person here there has been lack of communication. Um, and I, I feel like it's it's like two people giving each other the silent treatment. And um, I feel like it's a situation that escalated and got a little bit out of control. One person says something and it's supposed to be a joke and the other person misinterprets and takes it the wrong way. And then the other person kind of like gives them the silent treatment and then the, the second person realizes uh, or didn't realize that they hurt the other person's feelings and they're like, why are they ignoring me or not responding to me or not communicating with me? And they in turn give the other person the silent treatment. So you see where I'm going with this um, back and forth, misunderstandings that kind of got out of control. And then it created a silent treatment and lack of communication between two people. And I definitely feel like there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of um, feelings involved, but there's also a lot of stubbornness and a lot of pride uh, resurrected. And it created like a, a, a major emotional rift between you and another person. And I feel like if this is something that you're dealing with, okay, and if it sounds like it resonates with your situation, break the ice, um, Sagittarius, break the ice. I almost said Aquarius, so I wonder if you're dealing with an Aquarius. So, the person that you're dealing with, they are deep down very insecure and very sensitive. They might not appear like they're sensitive because of the, the 
I, I feel like they are a little bit harsh with their words. But they are very sensitive. So I feel like they put on a, a front and they're kind of harsh with the things that they say. But I feel like most of the time they don't mean it. And deep down, they are very sensitive. And I feel like they, they, they might feel like you're being too blunt or you're being too mean. And so it might hurt their sensitivities and then they would kind of recoil. So I feel like that's how the situation got out of hand to begin with, okay? Uh, we have here an end to a separation. So there is an opportunity this week to fix the situation. There's an opportunity as well for those of you who are uh, estranged from a loved one, a crush, a relationship partner. There's a definitely an opportunity to fix it. So what I have here is the Three of Swords. It's in the reverse, so it is a, a coming back together. And then we have here the Ten of Swords. This is an end to that separation. And you have a new beginning here. Ace of Pentacles. A brand new start, something that, an offer that is coming to you. And I feel like this is going to be something really good, Sagittarius. If you felt neglected, if you felt like you've been left out in the cold, if you felt like you were on that bridge, you know, waiting for the other person, waiting for the opportunity, waiting for whatever it is, waiting for the end of that silent treatment, you have to be the one to initiate, okay? You have to be the one to initiate the contact. You might need to be the one to kind of reach out, but I feel like it's going to be coming in for you. So you're not alone in this. The other person feels that way too. Um, with the Ace of Coins, I feel like it is a new job. It is something new on the table for you. And it has the potential to grow because what I have here is the Queen of Wands. It has the potential to grow if you nurture it and cherish it and build upon it. It has momentous opportunities that, that well, it's a, a giant opportunity that is given to you. So it's the seed of something once you plant it in the ground, once you nurture it. It has tremendous growth potential. So I feel like this is um, where you're meant to go and what you're meant to do. And yet I feel you juggling these choices. Should I go or should I stay? Should I take it or should I not? And it's clear that one choice definitely outweighs the other. One pentacle is bigger. One pentacle is elevated. So, you know, there there's definitely like, you know, in your hearts of heart, you know what you need to do and you know that you can't, you know, be in this unstable situation anymore. But I feel like there are definitely attachments to, you know, people, places, and things that's disallowing you from seeing this situation and, and seeing how amazing this opportunity is. And so you kind of hesitate and you oscillate between the two choices, okay? Um, I don't feel like it's there, I don't even feel like there's a choice. I feel like there's only one option, and that is to grab this new opportunity. I don't feel like there's a choice. It's not about staying or leaving. It's about moving forward. I pulled out three cards. <clears throat> we have here the Ten of Swords, and I pulled out three cards just to clarify the situation. And what I do have here is the Six of Swords, if we're moving back to a situation from the past, it's going to be very problematic, okay? It's like choppy water, choppy emotions, being in a situation where there might have been a lot of antagonism and a lot of like hurtful words thrown about between two people. Where you are right now, we have here the Seven of Pentacles. This is kind of like having a really strong connection with somebody, wanting to build something with another person. Um, and also, this, this heart is buried deep in the ground, okay? Not being able to express how you feel to another person for whatever reason. For whatever reason, you can't express how you feel. You, you're, you're very stuck, kind of like, it's not even unrequited love because, you know, there's a lot of love between these two people, but it's just like not being able to voice your love, voice your feelings, being able to express what you feel and what you want with another person for whatever reason. So this is your present. 
in your future, we have the full. So you're going to be able to do things differently. You're going to create a new path for yourself. And you're going to be able to take that risk and to express how you feel. Um, so needless to say, the past, it needs to be gotten over. You, you kind of like need to overcome that hurdle. And if there has been, you know, lack of communication, you have to be the one to initiate it. Okay, so don't let your pride, don't let the stubbornness, don't let the other person's try silent treatment de delude you into thinking that they don't care about you. They do care, and that's why, that's why they're purposely, you know, doing that. So I feel like it's a mutual energy. It goes both ways, and I feel like it started with a misunderstanding, and it can be resolved with some type of concrete action. Hence the Ace of Coins. This is like. Taking some type of concrete steps to rectify a situation, to fix a situation. Um, I'm feeling as well, some of you are dealing with somebody that might have like um, another relationship, okay? The Two of Coins is about a juggler, somebody that is juggling one relationship with another. And I feel like they're very, very stuck in their predicament. They're very, very, very stuck. Um, they don't see a way out. And they don't see that you are this shiny, shining beacon of opportunity for them. So they're glossing over the importance of you in their life. They're glossing over the fact that you are kind of like their ticket out. Not that they're using you or they should, they, they should, you know, look at you for your use value. I'm not saying that, but I feel like they're not seeing the opportunity that is in front of them. And so they're going to miss out on, on that opportunity. And in the meantime, you're going to continue to prosper. You're going to continue to thrive. But I feel like, once again, if you have been dealing with somebody where there's that cry, silent treatment, blah, 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 um, there's going to be communication once again, okay? As we head towards the end of the week, we have here the Eight of Wands. This is electronic communication. Lots of communication coming through. Lots of different channels. And we have, as well, the Moon. Arts and entertainment going out, having a really good time connecting with other people, listening to music. So you're, it's, it doesn't seem to me like you're going to be alone. It doesn't seem to me like, you know, this um, impasse or this stalemate concerning communication, contact and things like that is going to uh, continue until the end of the week. I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be some type of a gesture coming your way to allow the situation to naturally resolve itself okay um let me see if there's anything i'm picking up because um all of the other signs the, the video is like 20 minutes but for you guys i just feel like there's this big lump of coal right here it's like it's heavy and as soon as i explain that then it's gone and then there's like this career thing that's really taking off here. And as soon as I talk about that, then there's like nothing left to talk about. So I feel like that might be all the messages that you need to hear. So I'm not going to, you know, belabor the point and just reiterate the same things over and over and over again. So I feel like there are a lot of things that are left in your hands and you need to take it upon yourself to uh, right the wrongs and to fix things okay so everything is in the palm of your hands you can do magic with your hands look at that so you're you know t taking all these uh, fairy dust taking the fairy dust from this card and putting the fairy dust into you know another venture so I feel like you have learned a lot from a specific work environment and you're bringing that knowledge into the next work environment. And this is also taking matters into your own hands to nurture, to grow, and to prosper, okay? So I'm just going to leave it at that, Sagittarius. Um, I will try and um, to do your readings earlier, well, first before the other signs next week, but I usually start with Capricorn because Capricorn is an earth sign and Capricorn is in my eighth house. So it's easiest for me to start connect with Capricorn because the eighth house is the psychic house. Um, and that's why I normally start with Capricorns. And I know a lot of people ask me why is Sagittarius always last? It's just the way my natal chart is, okay? 
um, if I start with like other signs, I feel like the reading is a little bit um, out of sync for me. Like it's the rhythm doesn't flow well. But um, let me try to start with your sign next week and see what happens. Okay. I hope the reading is helpful. I do wish you all the best, and you know, enjoy your week. Okay. Take care.